times in that game, the last minute 30 there. It was right in front of the net, almost had a chance. I know there was one that they went for the boost, and that just put a little out of position they couldn't get in front of them. Right at the end there, they just sort of hit it more to the right than they wanted to. It could have really? been a different game, you know, it would have been a one goal game at that point. Yeah, that, that last minute stopping the clock, getting one goal, like suddenly sets you up for something again. Uh, but you kind of, you know, you miss that one opportunity and, and you don't get to carry carry that momentum into another point or anything like that. So, um, salt patch there, two shots, one save, one goal. Taking back the mantle of legend and top player on the team. Amino, daily moisturizing lotion. <laughs> Just not up to the task. You're your moisturizing fans. That's right. As you said earlier, just didn't have enough of that moisturizer on the hands. Yeah. You just just imagine sitting there with just this controller that's just my skin. Ah, <laughs> only like when he plays his best games, it's just slimy. You know, like uh, it it could have been a lot better. So, um, like we said. There's nothing affecting how great the games are here. Yeah, you know we that last the last series or so was fantastic. It was a fantastic series. It was, uh, people very very into it, and you know tons of other games going on here as well. Uh, lots of people here brought their PCs. Obviously, a uh, big LAN event uh, under computers, all set up out here. Looks amazing. Uh, screens everywhere. All making me jealous. All these computers it just look so much better. <laughs> I recently built like a newer computer, but at the same time, I see some of these builds and I'm just blown away. Uh, interesting water cooling setups, cool lighting kits, um, awesome. cases that are much it's less cool. plain than mine. So you know, it's a lot. It's a lot nicer. Yeah, it's cool how much mingling goes on. You know, people don't just stick to their own games; they're, they're watching around, seeing what other people are doing. Love it. It's it's a great time down here. And speaking of mingling, we're gonna probably do a little bit of that. I'm definitely gonna take a look at that. So. Uh, you know, again, thanks for joining us for now. More action coming up, more Rocket League. So stay tuned uh, and just signing up for a quick break right now. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back. Right, welcome back to Rocket League. <laughs> Someone's as excited as we are. Yeah, absolutely. This is this is going to be a great deal of fun here. Um, I'm Commander Santa, and uh, I'm Mark McAvoy. It's somewhat uh, not as cool as Commander Santa. Well, I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, we are about to get into the next match. We've got Outlaw Gaming and Soul Patch. Soul Patch is orange, and Outlaw is on the blue team. This will be the second uh, patch we've had. We just had a patch kit. Patch. Oh, goodness. Yeah. So we'll see how this patch compares. Well, I haven't seen anything of the tournament so far. So how have these teams been doing? Well, uh, the, the two strongest certainly in the in the opening there would have been Street Sharks and uh, the aforementioned uh, Patch Kids. Okay. Patch Kids came out on top out of that one. It was the only series to go to three games. Really? Okay. It was really good. They, they were Fantastic. strong players. Each one had a... Uh, at least one very strong player, and actually I'd say Patch Kids had uh, another in Badger. I think it's so, okay. Patch being their legend. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Badger was, was very strong as well, very good on defense. Very yeah. nice, very nice. I couldn't fight Goaltending? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Bad, what I was most impressed with was uh, just the confidence that uh, Badger would go up and, you know, a ball would come you down on the net and he would just swoop across there right to the side, no problem. Which. It's a standard thing you should be able to do, I guess, in Rocket League, but it's something where a lot of players, you know, they're just scared that they're going to miss or get a bad play or whatever. He was no problem. Just always on the ball. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Very. So we're going to be looking at Badger to continue to be a fantastic goaltender for the rest of the tournament. I would think so. I didn't really see many lapses. Okay. Perfect. So we are just waiting for uh, the teams to get in here. Uh, the Salty Patch Kids. Versus Outlaw. Versus Outlaw. Yes. Okay, so, so we are seeing the Badge Kids then. At the Rock, put out the Rock! Oh jeez. So you'll we'll see Badger and Outlaw. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. I did catch a little bit of the end of that. I didn't catch too, too much. Um, just a lot of ball popping all around. There's a lot of ping pong, you know, the, the both teams were, were strong at blocking. And uh, we haven't seen much dribbling, if at all. In, okay. In the games that have, that have so far, which is, you know, it's, it's a pretty advanced skill to be able to dribble. I certainly can't do it. <laughs> and I will let you know that I also cannot dribble as well. But because of that, you know, when you get to the stronger teams, because they can't dribble, what they yeah. do is sort of hit the ball very strongly, uh, very flush, back and forth. And you end up with the game, and you got the okay, so that's always very exciting as well, because yeah. it takes one, literally one errant move, and you already have... Uh, play going towards one side or the other. Exactly. Yeah, the rotating has been great for the, for the past little while. Uh, okay. You know, we're not seeing... I don't think we saw many misses in the last year. So there was one game where our defense Street Sharks were missing a lot. Okay. Uh, and they did drop that first game. But otherwise, you know, what, what determined the winner was just good playing. It wasn't like someone made a mistake in my case. Oh. Okay. So it was all just like fair play. Absolutely. Going hard. To lots of good aerial stuff. Uh, lot, lots of good saves. And uh, there's a three for those just coming in. We didn't see the last uh, series. Both uh, uh, Patch Kids, pardon me. And <laughs> I think it's Salt Patch, Sour Patch, what are we? Patch it's Kids one of the patches. <laughs> and then Street Sharks. Both uh, a lot, very defensive, would often, when the ball would get deep in their end, they put all three people in the net. Okay. Uh, which is very strong for countering, works very well at this kind of at this level of the game. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's one where if, if you if you communicate well, it'll work very well. But you can also kind of get on top of each other, hit people out of the way. It's yeah. a risk and reward. It, it, that's definitely a very risky way to play for sure. Um, mostly teams are definitely two four or one pack. Yeah, most of the time. But to see with the like, kind of rotating around with right? the rotations, yeah, to see uh, or to hear that there have been with the, the street sharks I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Um playing three forward all the time. That's that's very Oh very sorry, risky. three back for the most part. Oh three back. Okay. When when the ball gets back in uh, either team, either of those teams that are mentioned, oh, when okay. the ball would get put into their end, uh, you'd see them very much turtle into the net. But it's, oh, very it's, defensive. it's a strong oh, okay. thing to do at this level because oh, yeah. it's no, very sure. difficult to beat three people in the net. No, it's very oh, difficult. Yeah. And you know, it's very easy to go from their half to the other half. Exactly. Because the other team starts thinking, okay, how do we beat them? We're going to need to bank it off the wall, and I'm going to need this second guy to come in. And suddenly, nobody's back, yeah. and that counter shot 
just goes over everyone's, over everyone's head. Fair enough. No, that's that's very very advanced tactics right there. <laughs> yeah. So, still waiting. Teams are still in the dressing room, I guess. <laughs> yes. Getting prepared, stretching, warming up, so to speak. Yeah. Stretching their fingers. Yes, exactly. Got to make sure those fingers. Flexing their wrists. You know, that, that, that is an overlooked problem. Really? Okay. Well, maybe I'm wrong. But hey, uh, I would feel like you're playing this long. You got to make sure your fingers are right. Have a little bit of a, a break. <laughs> Tons of crazy stuff going on here today. Absolutely. Someone is very excited. Absolutely. And why wouldn't they? I mean, it's one of the biggest tournaments here in the baseline. Absolutely. So, um, other than that, how has your baseline been so far? My baseline has been very good. I am uh, taking a look at what people are playing. I love that it's not just a tournament going on. I love that you know, people can play GTA 5 for sure. Find someone at the yeah. land play like GTA 5. Awesome. That's always kind of one of the best parts about baseline is just, you know, not necessarily always playing in the tournaments and stuff like that. Those are always fun to do, but actually just like sitting there and playing with your fellow winners and like just finding a game that you all have in common mm -hmm. and just going, oh hey, let's play this game for like three hours. And presumably, I'm sure a lot of friendships are made and you end up playing with them down the road. Absolutely. I mean, that's how I met everybody that works here. So, I mean, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for being an attendee at one point. How about your baseline? I understand it's been a bit tired. I have had a very long day. Um, I uh, was actually just uh, emceeing a rock band tournament just prior to this. Um, there were a lot of interesting acts. Um, I will say that there was one very, very powerful act. They did a Master Exploder by Tenacious D. Oh, and the singer lit it up. Just over the top. Rock Band, I think, is a funny beast uh, for, for performing in front of people because so much relies on us. Absolutely. You know, really, you, I think you could get away with everyone else maybe not playing their parts properly as yeah. long as you've got a strong singer. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, like, the face of band is normally the singer, right? Right. So if you don't have a, a very, you know, talented singer in the terms of being able to perform, then your band is going to suffer. I saw a lot of that today, so that was uh, that was interesting. Knocking, knocking people singing at baseline. <laughs> hey, I got to do something. Oh, that's awesome! I wish I could have been there for that. Actually, uh, it was it was interesting. Um, we are still working on who's going to be the winner of that little tournament because it was a tournament here at baseline. Um, there are there is a prize that is dedicated to that, so uh, we will contact that winner uh, sooner than later. That's awesome. So, I want a prize. Do I get a prize? You get the prize of being my friend. Yeah. So, <laughs> there is no greater prize. There, there is no greater prize than being my friend. So, and again, more excitement from the CSGO crowd. So. One in particular. <laughs> what? And he uh, seems to be wearing uh, ear defenders. Yeah, I guess he can't really tell how loud he is. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can't. Which is probably the greatest thing of it all. That's awesome. I've seen a lot of uh, rock stars, monsters, those yep. kind of things come out at this point. It's getting late in the night. Very late. The late. convention itself is, is wound down, but uh, we're still going strong here at base. Absolutely. We are never sleep. I am the epitome of never sleep. <laughs> right. Um, that said, uh, we are going until 2 a.m. here at Baseland. Um, we've, Rocket League here is ending at around midnight. I believe so. That should be oh. when the uh, final final round is being played. I guess that depends on uh, when it all gets going. <laughs> yes, we are still waiting on uh, our uh, next match. Uh, it seems that we've gotten some people to join. Uh, so hopefully we can get this uh, party started sooner than later, so we can actually get to some exciting content. It's interesting we are, we're playing uh, on the same map every time. Same arena, I guess. Uh, which HF Stadium? Absolutely. And, so, which is obviously the the fairest way to play, I guess. Yeah. Um, but there, there's such a drastic difference between the maps. Even uh, simply Aquadome, for example, is the newest map they released. And for it's the most part, beautiful map. It's a beautiful map, but for the most part, it looks, you know, it's got the same corners and everything, but it's so much shorter that I find that that's really? a game. Okay. That's a map where that counter, that mm -hmm. three gold counter, is huge. Hmm. It's such a short map, you just hammer it into the metal. Huh. 
Let's, that's definitely interesting. I haven't personally played on that map just yet. I haven't been lucky enough with the RNG on map selection to actually land in there. Um, but that's definitely an interesting insight into that particular map. Um, it'd be interesting to see kind of like a, a free-for-all game. <laughs> played more recently and preferably here at Baselands that I can actually see it in person um, to see how that map actually plays. Mm -hmm. But obviously it plays a lot better than that Japanese track. I love Neo Tokyo. <laughs> I'm the only person in the world who loves Neo Tokyo. It seems so, because <laughs> unless you're playing Rumble, I find, it's very, very hard to play that map. Very difficult. The most important thing I think you can remember for that map is going up that ramp, you can't be going full speed because you just need surface. Unless you're aiming for the ball, which is going to be right in front of you. Sure. Uh, but if you're just trying to get your car up on that second level and keep driving, you're going to need to kind of move slowly up that ramp. Kind of like a speed bump for a car. Exactly. Okay. No, it's, it's certainly a map where air, if you're better at aerials, it's, it's a huge better. advantage. Fair enough. You know, I, I do definitely agree with that. Um, and actually, speaking of aerials, how have the aerials been through uh, the first couple rounds? The last two teams, uh, Street Sharks and, and uh, Patch Kids, have been fantastic. Yeah. The biggest thing I find with aerials is just being confident. Yeah. For the first while, you're going to go low all the time. Absolutely. <laughs> you're just going to miss and miss and miss. But you have to try for them because if you're just waiting at the bottom, someone else is going to dunk it over. Absolutely. It's, it's a guarantee, especially at this uh, at this advanced level of play that we're experiencing here. Mm -hmm. I know for sure that when I go for the aerials, I'm always over top. <laughs> I uh, never seem to get it. I'm still working. So. And we are underway. Oh, finally! And Soul Patch with a fantastic save to start the game. And Badger is on point with the save. Well, we're going to see a lot of that. I'm sorry, you're looking like me now with that haircut! Nice to touch him back in the air, so then back into the blue. Salt Patch is going to be the good And it sneaks by Sparks. I'm not sure what happened there. He's sort of slow to get moving. But he's got uh, Strux and Linty. Uh, those guys have been playing together for a very long time. This is their third tournament in the that they've actually been playing. Uh, originally had uh, Cookie Sergeant playing Sparks. Yeah, Cookie Sergeant plays Curry. And it seems that uh, Cookie Sergeant has been tired from the Sparks team. Yeah, that team. was Cookie Sergeant. Yeah, that's 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 Cookie this that particular. was incredible. Two <laughs> just... Oh, What's happening? Oh, they've decided to reset. Reset. Okay, so... Nothing here matters, folks. It's in the end. It really doesn't matter. I don't know. If I were up one goal, I think I might say, what do you mean, reset? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I mean, it's totally fair. Um, if they're they're not completely comfortable on both sides, uh, apparently West versus East makes that big a difference. Yes. So we'll reset. I guess it means that the uh, server latency is the issue. Yeah, that's my guess. I mean, we are at Central Canada. Shouldn't be that much. Well, we're technically a part of Western Canada, just in terms of geography. Right. But we are. Essentially, the central part of Canada. So either either side should technically work. Right. And they're 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 resetting from west, going to east. The world's gone topsy turvy. Jeez. <laughs> Winnipeg hasn't been in the east since the bombers were uh, in the east division. Speaking of the bombers, quite yes. fantastic here. Um, I'm glad I left. <laughs> <laughs> um, fun fact: I used to work for the bombers um, for eight long seasons. Um, so I, I have a lot of blood, sweat, and tears invested in that team, and I'm very excited to see that they're they're playing at the level that they are. That's that's an aside that we absolutely can, uh, that we can leave there. A, an arguably lesser game than the one. Oh, absolutely, but vastly less because I'm not the one commentating. Right. Yes, we uh, we have uh, our teams, the Salt Patch Kids and the uh, the uh, Outlaws. The Outlaws, right? Looks yeah. like we're all ready to start again. Will it be another quick goal for the patch kids? If it isn't, that'd be very upset. <laughs> Linty with the uh, win up the face off there against Salt Patch. Into the blue zone. Strux knocking it into the air, trying to go for that aerial hole. Linty! Linty, <laughs> Linty that's in the way. Badger with a fantastic save. The difference is stark, actually, on the server. Jeez. Hardy with the early goal, only 24 seconds in. Outlaw just turned it on. 
didn't look like they were going to bring this in the last server. Here we are. Well, I mean, two of these guys are the uh, reigning champions. That's right. I believe I remember Strux. Strux and uh, Linty. They uh, had cookie stars last time. Yes. yes. So uh, they've replaced Cookie Stars with uh, Purdy, but Purdy seems to be playing at a pretty good level right now. Well, Badger with an almost goal, Strux with a fantastic save right now. You can't. Purdy knocking it back into the orange, Badger stopping it, and Purdy just following it in. So Patrick, great save, knocking it into the air in front of the net. Strux going through the aerial, Badger knocking it away from the net. This is the Strux that I remember. He's oh, yeah. Strong aerial. Absolutely. He's. Probably one of the best. But, oh, he got away with them there. What happened there? That was no time. Strux tried to air it, but on his second jump was holding back, so he could have backed them by accident. Luckily, he didn't end up in the net. No, because uh, Flying Nimbus was a little bit too low on the right-hand side of that ball, knocking it in. Just barely missing it by inches. Badger keeping it into the blue zone, Purdy trying to go after it. Nimbus on the ceiling. I don't know if going up there, but <laughs> <laughs> you know what? you got to be somewhere, right? Strux is really winning the Paris. Well, I mean, he was probably one of the most dominant uh, aerial artists mm -hmm. last two months. And Lindsay's showing that uh, he's got it in the uh, This is going to be a tough one for the Patch Kids if they can't get higher. Oh, no, that much is true. Nimbus not coming into the air for the Nets. Badger working it back in. Lindsay keeping it in. Oh, fantastic save for Slash. He's already a savior, two minutes into the match. I think it's been a multiple time savior. And Salt Patch barely misses that save and pretty with his second goal of the game already. That's a well played shot there. Salt Patch is very close. I think he got to it, but it just shot wasn't enough on it. Yeah. Just not enough to knock it out of the way. His back end had been a little bit more on the angle, he would have had it out, but uh, just barely missed it. Ball is in the center. Nimbus trying to keep it safe. Linty knocking it back in. Badger keeping it there. Strux knocking it into the air. And with the aerial play again, again, fantastic aerial play. All the time. Leaving it for Purdy. Badger takes it into a blue zone. Linty in the air. Off the wall. Soul patch. Soul patch. Soul patch. Knocking <laughs> it back in. Don't have a soul patch cancel. <laughs> wow, Strux with the air drill oh. almost goes in. Off the post and Valenti scoring his first while making it 3-0, 214 left in the game. The air dribble is something you don't really expect to see that often at this level. Not that I, not that people are bad by any means, but you know that is quite the skill. It is definitely an advanced maneuver for sure. Especially saving that second boost jump uh, to knock that ball in. Taking it into the orange zone there. Holding it right in front of the nets. Nimbus knocks it back out into the corner. Badger and Purdy fighting for it in the air. And the Linty, oh my goodness, off the post and out. And Purdy with his hat trick. <laughs> Nimbus looking uh, a little out of their element here. Kind of just desperately jumping around trying to get in the Face off, Strux following it up into the corner, taking all that boost. And it is now it's the orange side. Linus is not looking that comfortable in that there, but still the go to defender. If I was uh, the patch kids, I would definitely try and trade out. Uh, Nimbus and get him moving into the forward position. He feels definitely more like he's comfortable there. Right, and we, uh, as I said, we saw Badger go so well with that. Exactly. Oh my goodness. And there it is again. Strux scoring his first game, making it 5 minutes. Nimbus is just getting caught in no man's land. The ball goes over your head and then you're stuck back up, which is always a part of it. No, exactly. He's playing far too forward for being a passive player. He definitely needs to save more back in the nets to try and. You know, at least counter some of those. Yeah, you know, stay back in the middle. We'll just try to read the play a little bit because you're at least moving toward the ball. Oh, more like what Badger just did there. Oh, and Badger scoring the first goal. It's a long shot, too, from the back end. 
There's that counter I was talking about. Just hammered over everyone's head. But he definitely wanted to make sure that that two shot went in, so he followed that in from the end. So, great shot for Badger. And uh, Salt Patch is definitely a great shot for Badger. Great trying to knock it back into the orange zone. We went to power hand. And off the wall and pulls from there. So catches is definitely saving that one. Purdy just missing it. Struck it just off the attack. And with nobody knows. Oh my goodness. Purdy was not able to save that in Badger with the second making it five. Tough one. I actually didn't think Purdy would get back like that. And uh, just to let you guys know, too, this is a 75 game. So it's the best game. Purdy actually, I think, did get back enough that could have made the save, but it was a tough one. Ended up not getting that one in the next five too. Exactly. No, he definitely needed a bit of a harder angle on that to uh, make a save and try to knock it out. Um, I don't think that was necessarily uh, easy to do for him. Uh, Lindsay knocking it into uh, open space on the uh, right hand side of the field. Back into the blue zone, back in the corner. Lindsay chasing it out, knocking it up over Badger. Salt Patch missing it. Nimbus finally getting him on the action. Back out. Strux going forward and trying to knock it in the boat. Batch was there to make sure that he does not go in. He does not want to lose. 62. Uh, 15 seconds left. Nimbus chasing it out. Batch with the aerial over to the play. Batch knocking it into Salt Patch. Nimbus trying to get it off the wall. And Badger oh, just could not get the time on that. No, and I mean, really, it was over anyway. But it would have been nice to go out with a goal like that. I think Pat's kids got their bearings late in the game there, started playing a little more cohesive. Around the two minute mark, for Absolutely. Sure. They definitely got their got their acting gear and finally got themselves working. They're still up against the mark, though, in, in Strux and Lindsay, and even Purdy. Uh, really, Purdy came in and uh, well, obviously three goals, most of anyone in the game, but was just always on that rebound. Absolutely. I mean, scoring on uh, three for four shots is definitely a huge, huge boost to uh, the Outlaws right now. And you see three assists from Strux, one goal, two saves, five shots. We, if we remember from last time, Strux was exceptional. And clearly, that hasn't changed. No, his team play is definitely improving. Um, he used to be more of the uh, Wayne Gretzky or the Mario Lemieux of the group, and now he's definitely more of the Sidney Crosby. Right. Well, Gretzky had a lot of assists. Well, I mean, he had, <laughs> what, 1,400 assists? That I don't because know. he had 852 goals or something along those lines. Right. So, I mean, with oh, 2,300 oh. points, it's kind of hard to not have a lot of assists. <laughs> True. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're going to be keeping the same sides, so blue is going to be continuing to be outlaw, and uh, orange is going to continue to be the salt patch kids. We'll see if uh, the patch kids can get an early lead here. They were down pretty well in that whole game, pretty much. The clock starts again. Strux and Badger off to the face off. Probably to the best players on both teams here. Linty making the save, pretty not going back out. Strux with the deflection. And Strux is out of place there to make the attack. But uh, Badger definitely followed it out. Strux going for some boost. Then we've got Salt Patch trying to go in. Purdy is now in net to try and make sure that they don't score any points. Follows the ball out to try and take any chances for it. Making a slight error on that. So, oh, wow. Early points. Still not as early as uh, the Outlaws with their first goal. No, but uh, no, they did come out with that early lead. I said, that's good. Oh, wow. That's actually hitting Salt Patch out of the way, saying, I got this. That's fine. Get out of here. I got it. And that's kind of the way it should be. Mind you, it's team. Absolutely. I mean, and Salt set that up on the pass up. I think Salt could have had the goal if uh, Badger didn't get it, but uh, I'm sure nobody's complaining. No, the goal's a goal, you yeah. always want those. Oh, Purdy almost had a beautiful shot in the house. And that's always the worst part, is depending on your opponent's name. Salt Patch with a nice bounce up, close to the ceiling of the map. Nimbus actually getting some airtime though. And he just 
bouncing it over top of me. Just... Yeah, maybe I'm overstepping my back. I think they keep me in this. It's part of the, uh, kind of the thing that he was trying to say. The last match, Nimbus being, uh, or best, oh my goodness, off the post and uh, he rebounds it. Yeah, that was close. That was a very close. It looked close like it should have gone in on the first shot there. Just comes right back out there if he gets his own rebound. No problem. Hey, anyway, you gotta go. Yeah, I know. Pretty, uh, saying thank you to <laughs> Nimbus knocking into the blue zone. Linty not having any of that. Badger also not having any of that. Pretty with a fantastic save. Into the air, closer to the ceiling. Strux in the air, just barely missing that. It's not something you see very much from Strux. Nimbus just uh, overshooting the ball there, driving right past so, Nimbus with a great save. Purdy trying to knock it in. And, uh, in traffic, getting out to Strux, trying to keep back into that home zone, trying to get it over top of uh, Nimbus getting bailed out a couple times there. He actually drove over the post, which completely screwed him. Yeah, no, Nimbus is definitely not doing very well as a defensive player. He definitely needs to Strux knocking it back into the orange zone, following it in, trying to get it over top of whoever that was in front of him, but just couldn't get it. Nimbus with the ball, self catch following it up. Unfortunately, with a back bounce. Pretty just barely missing that in the air. Struck not coming back in the corner. Back into the open pace. And Linty. No mistakes here. Linty knew right away from the way back he went to sailing for that ball. And really, Badger should have beat him too. And then this was missed by Linty. This is a very back. Yep, he definitely came in from the halfway mark. And that's how it should be done. More, the more space you have to see in the back if you're playing the, uh, the rear attack, um, the easier it is for you to get those kinds of goals. Absolutely, but when you're starting from so yeah. far back, you know, the defender really has the advantage that just jumps straight in the air, which is a difficult uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Strux playing with the ball and Nimbus there for a moment. Linty knocking it in there. It's just yeah. barely chasing the right. so So I to get back in the field zone. Linty trying to defend it. In the <laughs> and again, it's one of those things where you're defending to your opponent's net. Yeah. You know, you're just trying to get that perfect angle in. And, uh... Exactly. Oh, Nimbus almost saved it. Strux trying to keep it back out. Only hits the post. So they aren't quite able to score on that chance. Fantastic chance. Saltbatch is trying very hard to just give these feather touches to drop it through. So far, they've just been defending so well. Okay. Absolutely. They definitely see it Salt Patches. Salt Patches. Uh, play style. Lindsay with the dribble. Salt Patch just made that back off. It's a stress in the air. Back center. Badger seen through that and going in. And that's one where credit to Lindsay for being back on that. Badger is going for another big counter drop. Absolutely. I mean, we've already seen him score once on that attack. Go for a placement for Strix. Post him in. I like to see that. Even with an aerial man, it's almost as if he knows how to play the game. Yeah, it's so strange. <laughs> so strange. Anyways, Badger and Lindsay on the face off, pretty in the corner, trying to make sure that it doesn't down. Strux knocking it back in the orange zone. And Strux almost beating Soul Patch. Soul Patch, I keep on calling him Soul Patch. <laughs> But uh, fantastic assist there. Lindsay taking the open net like it was a one ball. The replay was unkind to soft patch. It showed him both posts there. I think he was missing that one anyway. That was just very unkind. He definitely played the cards. But uh, I mean, things like that happen. Starts playing into the side. Lindsay knocking out an assist. Both Strux and Soul Patch missing it. Pretty all just nothing, just barely rock. Soul Patch taking it over the field, or it's the blue side. Lindsay chasing the cat. Strux not coming back. Soul Patch missing that. Strux taking it down the side. That was 
is the miss by Saul Fashnitz. He went up for the Spider-Man hit. It wasn't directly on the ball. He bounced it out. He just couldn't get to it. And his teammates expecting him to hit it weren't able to react. Exactly. The game has got 511 seconds left. There's not much that uh, the Outlaws can do right now. Or the uh, Outlaws can do wrong, I should say. Yeah. It looks like the Salt Patch kids are I mean, taking a lot of this for the game. Or are you trying to keep it on the ground? And, uh, you know, that makes it 2 nothing. One more win, and there's the Let's see. Uh, let's see if the Salt Patch kids can try and win one yeah. out of it. They're really not off far off, just having a few lapses. It doesn't take much in this game to get scored on, right? So no, 5 no, 1 no. looks bad, but the game is a lot closer. Oh, it's definitely more. I mean, to compare it to hockey once more, um, it, all it takes is one missed cue. Mm -hmm. And then you're down a goal. Right. So. Uh, then you got to play different to come back from the goal. You know. Yeah, they definitely should be playing more to their strengths. That might help them in the end, but definitely. Being up one kind of made them feel confident, and then uh, with Linty and Strux and Purdy just attacking all the time, it definitely hurt them. They really attack well together. They're always looking for what the other person is doing. They're always looking for a pass, and what's so strong about Outlaw's game is one person will pass it, another person will shoot it, and the, other, the third person is always looking for the rebound on that shot. Absolutely, and that's... That's kind of a very advanced way of playing with a team. It, it's not something that you see very often. Um, at the lower levels, they're definitely playing at a very high level right now. Right. And that third person does such a great job. Linty, especially, we've seen it. They do such a great job of looking, okay, is this going to be a rebound that I can get? Is it going to be something that they're going to kick back at us? There's a kick for <laughs> uh, Always with the kicks. Uh, you know, they, they, they're good at reading where that ball's going to be and being in the right position to react to that. Because this means everything. Absolutely. Badger taking the ball from the top. Nimbus trying to get it in. And it just goes wide from that. Badger going to the Nimbus trying to take it out. Purdy is there to prevent that. Lindsay off to the races on the right hand side. Alongside that, Badger is keeping it out. Purdy trying to keep it back in. It looks like both self patch and uh, Badger just do not have the right side. Struck down in the corner, up in front of the nets, and Linty. All day, every day. Fifth goal in three games. And it's just this every time. Struck off the backboard, in the air, and he buries it. Linty is very accurate. Too. You know, every time Linty misses, Purdy's there. To and if it's not Purdy, then it's Struck. Right. So they definitely have a synergy going on here. That's all. So the salt patch kids just do not have. I really wonder how quick it starts to be <laughs> He's probably feeling very comfortable right now. He can probably just relax. Right, right. Um, no more stress. No more stress. Um, but mind you, he's probably cheering on his friends in uh, Strikes and Beauty, trying to make sure that uh, they just win. There's nobody in the back zone there. Strux in the corner just trying to get that boost and knock the ball out of the top patcher. Salt patch over top of that. Purdy in the corner with Brian Nimbus there. Strux knocking it into the other corner, falling it out. And off the wall and into the orange side. Salt patch is there to kind of defend it. And Strux almost getting it in the air. It's actually a really strong hit there by Salt Patch. I didn't think they that he had the angle at all. But uh it, what a nice backwards area. Absolutely. That was a that was a very nice defensive play right there. Linty knocking it over to the other side. Badger falling it out. And in the air waiting for Purdy or Salt Patch to take it. Nimbus in the back zone there, just knocking it out. Strux off the side wall there. Just past Badger. That was a very close miss on back to her. Salt Patch and Nimbus just barely over top. Linty's just way out of place. Nimbus has got to get his back and not forward back and forth out of the game. No, he definitely needs to use more of the e-brake and uh, a little bit more of the power turn too. Yeah. Good and shot. Badger tying it up with two minutes and forty-eight seconds left. Strux <laughs> taking responsibility for that one. That's yeah, there it was. Yeah. A great pass by Strux really off the back or off the wall. 
Hardy just barely missed that save. But, uh, yeah, definitely. Starts making passes for both teams. <laughs> <laughs> it seems so. But uh, his team seems to be prevailing mostly. Struck with a soft toss, dribbling it out. I wanted that to work, but so bad. Oh, really ran that. Oh, fantastic. It's all Patrick now knocking it into the uh, blue zone. Purdy not having any of that. Badger following it out. Oh my goodness, Linty just knocking that straight out of his hands. I guess it's going to be the case. Strikes into the corner. Getting boost and off the side. Linty just barely missing that. Going into the net. Badger following it out into the corner. Linty off the wall and trying to follow him. Kind of a mad rush in the background here at Baseland because some free t shirts at this point. So, uh, first time people that get to the admin desk, don't you? Go get some free t shirts. Structs in the corner off the wall. Pretty not needed to be so very nice. Salt so patch. Salt so patch. Uh, just barely missing that. Valenti knocking it into the net, or knocking it across the net, just barely in front of Badger. Valenti made a strong play there, his teammates usually are there to grab it, but I can move away. They just seem to be out of place on that play, unfortunately. Birdie getting almost over top of Nimbus, Strux playing it right in front of the net, just over top and with the other people. Badger following it over, barely missing that. Birdie right in front of the net, it's all patches there. A whole bunch of traffic there, struck almost with the goal. Very nice save. Back over the blue zone. Purdy following it upside down off the wall. Purdy having some trouble landing there. You gotta keep that angle modifier on when you're making that landing. Absolutely. Oh, struck. Oh, just off the corner. Oh, Slinty coming in a bit too hot. You don't have the angle just sailing through that. Exactly. Strux with a nice soft defensive play there, backing into the ball and knocking it back to the orange zone. Linty keeping it into the orange, Badger barely missing that. Strux just in front of him. Bad angle there for Strux. Trying to get it in the net, but uh, just keeping it in the middle. Birdie with the ball on Badger, trying to keep him out of the game for a tiny little bit of time. And Linty! Oh my goodness. And uh, cheers from the crowd, folks. The lights have just been turned off. Alright. Now it's a party. Now it is, in fact, a party. Linty off the wall, five seconds. Looks like we're heading into overtime. This is a miracle here. No party for this. This is uh, winner take all. This is it. Badger and Linty. Strikes falling in the corner. Already just over top of the patch. Salt patch. Keep wanting to call him salt patch. One one day it will come naturally. One day. Oh, this is unfortunate. Oh, Badger almost with the save. Strikes from a long distance. Over time goal. That's that's game. Off of Nimbus. And off Badger. Off Badger, of Badger, yeah, Badger did his uh, darndest there to save it. Couldn't get that one. Uh, long shot just bounced off of Nimbus, and nobody expected it to travel like that. Not at all. Look at Strux's tires. I love that car. Oh my goodness. Fantastic. I uh, wish those rooms were real. Yes. Uh, I would stick them on my own <laughs> car, actually. Um, also, paint job. Very nice. Uh, game. Fantastically played by all of them. Well, I mean, picking up where they left off at uh, the last baseline, Strux and Linty, strong Rocket League players. The people to beat, really. Absolutely. Um, and then they've got a fantastic uh, placement for Pookie Sarge. Purdy. Yeah, Purdy fits in real nice. And, you know, you see the 0 0 0 on safe goals assist there, but it doesn't really say what Purdy's yeah. game was like. That second, or that third match, rather, Purdy was certainly a little quieter than in the, the first two, but they yeah. complement each other so well. Absolutely. He was definitely kept more in check in that last match there, um, but definitely the synergy between those three is, is unreal right now. Absolutely. I uh, can't wait to see more of what they have. So, going through to the finals, then, is outlines. Yeah, absolutely. Was there ever any doubt, I guess? Um, didn't even know they were in it until yeah. this game. 
<laughs> when I saw them, I thought, wow. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Um, it, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely their theme to lose, I think, in the final. After that, I mean, defending play. champs, right? Defending champs in two of them and uh, a new replacement yeah. in the third. And we, as you were just saying, we, we saw some exceptional rocket coming from especially Linty and uh, Strunk's there. They obviously have played together a long time and know what to expect out of each other. Absolutely. I mean, it's their third baseline playing, third Comic Con baseline playing together now. Um, so, yeah, they've, they've definitely amped their game up to the next level. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if they've uh, at one point made it to the RLCS finals. The RLCS finals? Yep. Yeah. I know, I, know it's, I know it's a little bit uh, high praise. But, uh, I mean, they're some of the best. They're not, uh, I don't think they're on the same level as, uh, uh, what's his name? The, uh, top, the top player. Cronovi? Cronovi, yes. Uh, a little ways to go. A little, a little, ways, <laughs> a little to go. ways to go before they're at Cronovi or, uh, or any of those guys. Yeah, but uh, they'll, they'll definitely be within that final 16 group of teams, mm -hmm. I think, at one point. Whether it's this year or next year. I'd love year. to see it. It'd be amazing. Absolutely. A team from Winnipeg going that far? It's only a matter of time. Hopefully. Fingers crossed, guys. All right. <laughs> and uh, we are loading into the next game here, so uh, we should be able to... Semi-final number two. Yeah. Now, these are some names that I don't recognize, not from uh, the streams we've been doing anyway. So we have uh, Mr. Mo, Silent Gross, and uh, Lance Disney. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, we all know that Mr. Walt Disney always wanted to be a Disney. <laughs> Let's call him Walt. <laughs> I think that's pretty safe. Um, and who else do we have here? Cookie Sars is on a new team. What is this? Wrong? Is amazing. So, uh, so now surely, can't surely wants to meet his former team. Absolutely, in the final. no, for sure. So. It is uh, Q and C and Foda sucks. <laughs> so uh, that that's a stab at uh, one of the uh, CS:GO champions here. Okay. Um, which I think is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I'm out um, of the loop. Walt off the corner in. Cookie with the uh, corner play there. Z knocking it back into the orange zone. Walt is uh, following that out. Uh, the follow ups. He's uh, right there. Cookie. Just on the line, barely misses it with a nice backflip. Just setting it up, but no one missed it. Falling is off the wall, Cookie knocking it back into the orange. Silent is in the corner there, trying to keep it. Disney keeping it out of the net. Walt knocking it back into the blue zone. So we have Foda Sucks on the blue update. And the uh, UNC. Silent Overdose looks familiar as well. Is that one we saw at the last basement? Um, I don't quite recall. Maybe I've just played against them. You probably have. Um, I don't recall seeing Fallen Reps, but then again, a lot of these guys usually change the names for baseline and stuff like that. Right. Um, so, anyone know Exactly. <laughs> um, I generally don't. But, uh, you know what? Who's great? Uh, Z with a fantastic goal right there. So he almost knocked oh, it. Oh, wow. Kind of sort of pinched it between Z and Cookie from uh, Z's bottom uh, to to the hood of Cookie there. Very fantastic little shape there on that. Waltz just barely not to get into the blue zone. Mr. Mo way too high in the air. Cookie with a fantastic block. Z knocking it into the other side. Waltz keeping it in the corner. Silent is there to follow it out. Fong is just over the side. Z not to get back in and into the corner. Z really controlling the play right now. Absolutely. And just off the post, that was almost a goal on Z's part. Yeah. The game. So Mr. Mo keeping it into the blue zone, sorry. Cookie knocking it out. Favorable bounces there for blue. Very favorable bounces. Most is the All right. <laughs> um, Cookie with the. Uh, with the corner play there against Waltz with Fong coming in to save him. Oh, 
Z knocking it high above the net. Wolf there to kind of block it in the corner. Cookie up high again over top of the net, and Z almost getting the goal. Cookie knocking it back out to the corner. A lot of misses going on here right now. Both teams are going to need to just calm down. They definitely need to settle more. Uh, Silent over those the aerial play there off the wall. Bicycle kick trying to keep it out. Cookie with a blocked, say, uh, blocked goal there. Very light. He knew what he was doing. He's been there, done that. Oh. Game. He's the uh, two time reading champ, three time reading champ for Rocket League. So, uh, yeah, he, he definitely knows how to play against the ball. So, uh, hopefully, his teammates can attack him. Oh, it's just a foul by Silent. And Z would be fantastic to play in front of the net. Cookie not being in any corner zone. Walt knocking it up off the ceiling at a very high pace. Z just taking out Walt there and the ball in the air. Ball is unable to knock it back in the Silent almost gets the goal there. So many of these hits are just a fraction off. Just like so close. Cookie taking it all the way I want to see Cookie on the goal. <laughs> Against Walt? <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll try to not keep it there. Um, that said, Bong is off the ball. Vault is there to counter. Seed is on the corner there and off the wall. In in the corner, in front of great pass, great team. And Walt is there with a fantastic save in front of the net. Walt following it in, just almost there. Uh, Cookie stars with a fantastic save in front of uh, Silent Overdose. Bongrip's clearing that by knocking Cookie out of the way. Absolutely. Silent finally getting in the corner and knocking back into the blue zone. Seed immediately back in the orange, and Walt is there to counter. Silent accidentally keeping it in their own zone. And Seed is there to just force it in front of Walt and uh, Mr. Mull to keep it in that orange zone and back into the corner. Walt is up in the air and just barely gets that goal. I don't like what Silent did here. Silent had a choice. He could have just aerial through this ball but decided no i'm gonna go up the wall and that's a much harder save absolutely that was just definitely a full play on his part um Bong is definitely using the uh dead mouse yeah uh topper um right it's halloween <laughs> as far as halloween make sure you're playing if you're halloween stuff are limited to Yes, and uh, those limited time things are only for season. Cookie Sars with an accidental goal. Silent, uh, just long angle of trying to pop this one away from the net. Gain, that's uh, another bad I didn't that. Bad play gain by uh, Silent. They're now up 3 0 with 20 seconds left. I have, I have played against CPUs and scored three goals in 20 seconds, but not against live players. Right. So I, I it's not impossible, it's just very unfortunate. Very, very unlikely, especially with the players in this Silent's really following the player. I don't mean that in a bad way, but he really needs to pull his chest. I would say so. And that, you know, the teammates may be falling there as well. The teammates need to pick up the so Absolutely. And uh, we have uh, Hoda Sucks taking the first win. Uh, first win. Five. The best of five, that's right. This car that Cookie Star is using, we had someone using a similar uh, Spooky Tuki? Spooky Tuki, I like the name. Spooky Tuki, I believe was the name. <laughs> and it's frustrating because it's a it's a style of car and color of the car that looks like the other team. Really? Oh, yes, for sure. So it definitely uh, confuses people. For yeah, sure. and it's something that I've never known if anyone's doing it on purpose or if they just like the style of the car or whatnot, but I certainly get confused watching it. No, and it definitely makes it look like it's four on two, but uh, we can let them know that it isn't. Um, and we can see here that uh, Bong is a pro, he's a master, Cookie's a veteran. Um, and Walt, the only rocketeer. Yes. So uh, we know that Walt can play. It's just that uh, it seems that... Uh, and we're getting confirmation here that it is a best of five. Uh, players were definitely questioning about that. Mm -hmm. um, they were not 100% certain. So, um, now that they know, they know what they have to aim for. They know how hard they have to play. And, uh, Orange knows they're not on the brink of elimination. 
No. Doesn't mean they don't want to win, of course. Well, it definitely means that they've got to push themselves a little bit more. Hopefully Silence won't make some errant plays. A couple errant plays there, and I really think that just came down to trying to do too much. And sometimes you got to keep it simple. So oh. Absolutely. Sometimes it's best to just, can I get a flush hit on the ball? No matter where. Absolutely. So we have Cookie and Silent going in for the face off. Seed knocking it back into the orange zone just off the ball. Cookie keeping it out into the corner. Uh, Walt there to meet the ball in the corner, but barely misses that mode in the corner once more, trying to keep it out. Z just bouncing it right off the top of his car in front of the net. And Cookie accidentally knocks it through his own net. Probably could have left that. Probably would have bounced off the post. We'll see here. No, I think that was going in either way. Tough one to tell. Probably right to hit that, but obviously he didn't hit it the way he wanted. No, definitely not. But uh, let's we'll see. Is that a key Fancy one. I uh, quite like these fancy paint jumpers. Again, I, I haven't played much Rocket League in the last little bit, but I have kept up with, uh, with Pro Scene for sure. Um, at least in some part. Um, RLCS. Right now. Uh, Bong knocking it out of the corner. Cookie trying to keep it out. Close one. Very close. Bong into the orange zone again and falling it out. J uh, Waltz. Keeping it in his corner. You could say the full name. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to call him Jisney again. Um, and that's like something that we can't really be saying, I think. Um, Cookie knocking it into Ball and Rips' uh, grip, so to speak. Z off the ceiling, off the wall. Walt knocking it out into the blue zone high and into the corner. Mr. Mo following it out, grabbing that boost that's super important to this high level of play. Uh, Z off the corner and out, but unfortunately, there was just a lot of traffic knocking that ball. And Walt, not letting them, uh, not letting them take it out. I'm not sure how that ball ended up there. Silent actually with a nice little play, uh, just hammering it into the corner. Now he bounces up. Cookie uh, starts to just shy of safety. Had he been like a split second slower, he may have gotten the same. So we have Bong and Mr. Mo taking out the uh, face off there. Silent Overdose. Uh, cookie there to meet it. Uh, playing it very softly. Uh, Z knocking it out into the uh, wall. Definitely playing aggressively, Z. Uh, not trying to let any of his teammates try and Yeah, it maybe took that one away from Bob. Yeah. He needs to be more of a team player than a solo act. It's one of those things where you get down and you start thinking, okay, I'm going to put the team on my back, but. You need the team to play. Yeah. That is for sure. Waltz in the air, knocking it into the blue corner. Z not having that. Knocking it back out. Almost getting completely blocked by Silent. Waltz keeping it back in that corner. Silence going through the uh, backflip. Not quite getting it, but still keeping it in the center there. Off the corner and around. Cookie with the save. And out. Z just barely missing that. Silent knocking it right to the net. Mr. Mo knocking it to the far side there. Now it looks like things like a bit of time. Yeah, definitely. We've uh, got 2 minutes 20 seconds left in this match. Anything can happen. Two goals nothing in 2 minutes. No, but. It's uh, a good shot from Cookie. Oh. Just as just off the post, as far in there, and uh, some great defense by uh, Z. A little lucky. Looks like maybe didn't initially hit the ball as he planned, but then ended up getting a nice save. Waltzing right through Z's ploy, taking it out. And uh, nobody there. Looks like Waltz going to take it out. Someone on blue has got to attack him. Way too much time, way too much open space in that area. It doesn't look like uh, blue team is using their full extent just yet. Well, with a fantastic block. Silent going for the beat, and Z not able to get it. Makes it 3 0 of minutes of beat. Well, I was saying that Silent needed to really start hitting the ball more dead on, and that's what we're seeing. That's exactly what we want to see from Silent. Definitely picking up his play for the last match. 
not necessarily fixing all of his errors, but definitely uh, making sure that he's not going to be screwed up. And Cookie, almost with the goal. Silent with the fantastic save in front of the net. Mr. Mo going in in the corner. Okay, so see. Uh, Silent off the post. Silent showing us that he is capable of his error. Silent every player. Especially if he's doing been a long time, I still can't do them <laughs> Yeah, apparently it takes about 100 hours of training in aerials to get good at them. Oh. So, oh, Mr. Moe making the fourth goal, so it does look like uh, it'll be 1-1 one, one after the end of the game here. Tall order, 50 seconds, four goals. I think they can score two. I mean, it, 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 it could be easily happen, I'm sure. But well, we're seeing uh, very strong. He's just making sure to take out the ball right at the beginning of the match there. Three on to advantage right from the get go is definitely something to remember. Silence has been very obvious in this game, but Waltz, I think, is quite having control of the play. Definitely, for sure. He definitely seems to be the captain of that team and uh, try to make sure that they, uh, they go as far as they can. So can. Cookie. Off the wall and accidentally blocking his own shot. He just does not seem to be here himself. There's Waltz getting involved. And uh, that's a game with 11 seconds. Absolutely. <laughs> so we will see uh, match three. So the game, uh, the uh, semi final here will definitely go to four games. We'll see where the rest of it does go. But... Bomb just going off the side there. Mo getting the first hit. We're just going to play this one. Freestyle America, if you can call it that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely for sure some freestyling. Um, Silence definitely enjoying himself after that. Well, sets it up for Z, essentially. I mean, it was a necessary save. But he stayed right in front. It looks like. Silent was just a little overcommitted on that center point on the net, and just was not able to get back there in time. Uh, Cookie taking the base off for uh, Boda. Uh, Z going in the corner, trying to keep up with uh, Waltz, just not able to. Cookie knocking it back into the corner zone. Uh, playing very close to the middle. Ball taking it on that side. Cookie knocking it into the corner. Both of Waltz. Just no for Waltz. Definitely not a great. There, but uh, good one. That's gonna go. Oh, Z with a necessary. Absolutely, and Waltz just off the top of the crossbar. Okay. There, they are definitely trying to play it out. Cooking with a fantastic shot. Close to the net, centering it, but not quite able to get over, over top of the end. Orange team. Zed's getting involved, really uh, trying to beat the other team for the ball. And that may have been the difference in the first game. Zed has to be has to be a leader. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I mean, Cookie Stars is the uh, is one of the reigning champs of uh, I would rock the tournaments, uh, but he is playing with some new faces. He uh, definitely has the experience, but he's definitely looks like Cookie knocking it deep in the order, so close to the net, going. Close to this, or going close to the boost, but not quite getting it. Waltz not letting anybody else have that. Missing those boosts can be extremely costly, especially with people doing aerials all the time. Uh, those eat up a ton of boost. So if you can just get out of position, if you're messing around trying to get a boost, you miss. And, uh, it can be devastating. Silent definitely playing conservative piece of boost there, trying to keep. Uh, a little bit of space in there. Miscommunication. No takes it away from him. One but, of them shouldn't have come for it. No, but uh, didn't really hurt them in the end. Look, trying to play it back into the orange zone, just not able to do it. Z with a nice block in the corner. Bone knocking it out into the uh, orange. Z following it up just off the of ball's nose there. And uh, silence and uh, ball took it. Mill on the far side, Silent on the other side, good pass, just off the feet side. Someone should have been pressuring there, up on this wall with Silent. There's no sense having three people in front of the net. 
and Ball is definitely way too far back. It did look like that was an ice truck. Went in off ball. Off seed, I believe. Which, I mean, he's at the back post desperately trying to make that safe. So we should have made it close post. Yeah. Try to stop him from the Absolutely. It's, it's when you get into the back area on the long shot across that uh, that kind of stuff happens. Ball in the game just out of position. Unfortunately, uh, you can see just a lot of that goal. And definitely, uh, definitely showing the boost who that ball score. He would have had so much boost. He needed to use that boost. Right, and the fruit salad. <laughs> you can't go wrong with some fruit salad. See, winning the face off there. Uh, Bomberg's following it out. Uh, Mr. Mo keeping it back into the blue zone. Hooking with the corner play out close to the middle. Waltz not wanting that. He's trying to keep it in the corner there for his teammates. Uh, Z high and misses. Hooky going back, followed by Bomberg's. Z knocking into the corner and off the wall there. High, high, high. Kind of out of play right like that. Yeah, absolutely. See, just playing it low, gets the nice bounce off of the there. Cookie with a uh, nice keep in the uh, orange zone. See, going to the aerial, not quite enough space to get it out there. Um, Silent did win that round. Ball uh, and Silent fighting for that. Lights, and the starts shot did get deflected. So I'm chasing the ball in the corner. Zed and uh, Bombers just barely missing that. Something's got to be sorted out with Mo and his teammates because they're uh, taking balls away from each other. Absolutely. Zed missing the aerial on that ball to driving into the net. What a with save. a fantastic save. 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 I didn't see that coming. I thought that was. So he's definitely driving that ball. He wants to make sure that they win. Got 35 seconds. Good shot, Cookie. Good save. Overdose. Overdose has really improved his aerial game Absolutely. since the first game. It seems like uh, he wasn't playing on all cylinders in that first game. It's definitely showing that uh, the later match that we had here. It's definitely the thing I've ever Which is where we want to be. Yeah. And we do, we do cheer on both teams. We don't pick sides. No, of course. I Keep just want to see you drop it. Absolutely. That's always Cookie. the... Oh, Silent with the big save again. Silent is just put the team in the back. Which, uh, I mean, isn't necessarily what they want, but that's what we're getting. Never, oh, I guess it's not working this time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the uh, photo sucks take round three. So it is now two to one. Maybe they the score in that game. Yes, absolutely. That was a very even game. At the end, it certainly seemed like Orange's game, but uh, they couldn't get that equalizer. They just could not stop the pass to the end line there. And, uh, uh, the Photosex crew definitely uh, definitely played some great defense in that last minute to try to preserve that win. Yeah, Overdose, Overdose made a lot of good plays there. Uh, a lot of strong shots that maybe his teammates didn't always capitalize on, but along those lines, I would say Mr. Moe needs to work stuff out with his teammates. Silent, again, is often doing a little too much. He's going all around the map. Yeah. When someone's closer, maybe it's their ball. Yeah, no, he definitely needs to, to, to play more zone rather than man. If you know the football reference, uh, I vaguely know it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he, he definitely needs to like know where his teammates are and uh, not necessarily really grab his Of course, Silent with the long goal for uh, I just wanted the Q and C's. Yes, I get every single every single ad. So we are one win away from Cookie Star meeting his former champion team. Yes, champion on champion. Yeah, so well, it's yeah, if it happens, if it happens, happens, it could absolutely twist. We don't know. We'll find out. It's like uh, Mo took out the uh, start there. Uh, Cookie with the uh, shot in the middle. Well, there to uh, see that doesn't happen. Fung the ball. 
think I've ever no. thought I'd ever say that. <laughs> it seemed like a phrase. It seemed like a phrase. Uh, see with a fantastic shot at the top of there. Trying to keep it away from them. Vault with a block. Keeping it in the blue zone. See the uh, circuit back. Smiling with the block into the back into the blue zone. And Walt capitalizing on that shot. And uh, not everybody being twisted next. Well, Walt just gets this better than Z. Yeah, Z misses. Z was Z's even... underneath. Maybe not the right ball to try to challenge, but maybe just try and get the car in front of it. Yeah. Uh, Z definitely needs to see the ball a little bit better. Um, definitely needs to be more on the right because uh, his area is so short and it's not really tight. Especially if they're going to be coming up with the HDL. Said Mr. Mo is keeping it in the deck of order there quickly, trying to meet them and uh, but, uh, knocking it out of Kevin to be there. Z to meet uh, Walt. Uh, looks like Walt just put loose, so the timer had reset by the time he needed it, uh, which was fortunate for him because uh, that makes him a lot more of a That was an unnecessary guess. Shot against the third. third. Absolutely. Um, meeting Walt, going high. This should be. That was a clear shot then. Yeah. Very, very close, just as I say, close to the right? right? And I mean, it's you know, it's easy to say that if these are misses that this should happen. It's very fast paced. It, it's very fast paced. It's very advanced, and uh, both of these things make it very a level of which I think both myself and Mr. McAvoy here are not able to play at. Um, so yeah, no, definitely, definitely playing very well. In this particular round, going in favor of C and Z. Almost getting the ball and Walt just barely keeping that out. Fantastic save. I'm lucky. Just absolutely. Walt in the corner, setting it up. Z with the block. Walt just barely missing that. Probably should have jumped for it a little bit. Keep it in the area. Falling, beating Mo. Hopefully, Walt is there. Those kind of very soft hits out of the defender really just keep Essentially, but sometimes, uh, and we have seen it where soft hit does make it so that the defender can't get it as easily. Right. No, keeping it right off the top of his car, not necessarily going to get the kill. Z back in the back of the corner. And it's going to center it for the ball. And I'm shocked that, that worked. Great ball. Fantastic. So we'll see here that Z just takes the center of the So these are the kind of passes I call fake. Low, and there's a defender in the net ready to hammer that out. But in this case, they missed, and yeah. it ended up being a goal. And you know what? Uh, that's a fantastic pick. Uh, I mean, honestly, the fact that it actually worked means that uh, they just weren't in position. Uh, you can see. Uh, two, make sure that that's just sort of There are two people there. Both probably should have been able to get them. But the defense there. Walt's trying to keep it back in the blue. Seed following that out. Over to This is going to be dangerous. And Seed Great. just almost gets it. Great save. He does get a clip on it, but not what he wanted. Walt beat him there in the air. Walt playing central. Mr. Moe barely missing that. Seed. Definitely taking it back. All that over there. Driving that forward. Cookie. Not necessarily seeing that one. Here we go. Walt driving it backwards. Passing it forward. C does not like Western Walt. Off the side and no. Mo oh, getting involved. Finally. Yeah, that was a great pass by Silent here. Absolutely. Between the defenders, nobody got to Absolutely. Well, that almost had the almost had the collection, but just half a second ball. Face off the beat at uh, Bong and our favorite points. Going for Walt at the top of the corner there. 
seat, trying to duck back in the orange zone. Free and open. Silent is going to try and save in the net. No, getting it high up and into the middle. Let's see if Boost can get that more boost and not lead back into the orange zone. Almost all the correct angle to get the ball on the open net. Just wide. Is this going to drop? Almost. And Cookie did not have the angle on that aerial to find the ball on that. Right. Missed advantage there. Silent definitely not going to get back into the zone. And it looks like it is going to be 2 all. So we're going to go to 5 games. Unless we get a goal here. Oh, with the clutch. Very clutch. And. That will be going to game five. Wow. Well, that is. We've got a ball game. Yeah. It's very exciting. Whoever wins this deserves it. Absolutely. We've seen some fantastic play between both of these teams. Um, who do you think is going to take this, uh, this next round? It's tough to call, honestly. I mean, in the last. I think we've seen stronger play in the last few games out of Orange, uh, particularly Silent and Walt, obviously. Silence definitely stepped his game. He's, uh, he's not necessarily uh, taking the team on his back, but he's definitely playing a lot smarter. Right. And, I mean, it really depends on Zed, I feel like. He's definitely the leader of that team. When he is off or when he misses a ball, it really puts him in a bad spot. You could also say that, you know, his teammates could step it up and then give Zed a bit of help there. Not, you know, nobody's playing poorly, but. It's just a few missed opportunities that are costing Absolutely. So it, it's on both teams, really, to kind of fix the mistakes that they made in the first four games. And kind of... But I think largely Orange has. Like, Walt is really... And Silent. They're both getting really high up, getting those aerials Absolutely. quicker and higher than their opponents. And it seems, it seems really that only Zed can challenge both Silent and Walt. Mm -hmm. So to, to see it kind of a two-on-one aerial attack is definitely favoring Orange, for right. sure. Um, the game. We won't know until the end. And uh, they are wishing each other good luck. Yeah. And, uh, it's a little camaraderie. Fun. Yeah, and that's. Oh, uh, not from Walt. <laughs> Walt, uh, Walt definitely wants to see some uh, some energy here. So he's uh, definitely got it. Zed uh, into the orange zone with the ball. Off the wall. Zed almost getting the ball there. Cookie just gets blocked by Mo. Fong uh, misses the ball right off the wall. Getting right up in. Does look like he's uh, struggling a little bit with the aerials, um, but not nearly as much as Cookie has. So, uh, Turkey was way too hesitant to go for that one. Absolutely. He waited a long time before he back. Yeah, absolutely. So, with all three of the uh, players right in front of the net there, they make sure that that ball is trapped in the net. Uh, Cookie throws for the air there, and uh, Overdose making the save. Trying to keep it in the corner there, Walt. Not liking any of that. Low passing to Milt and Walt. And back to Dane. Silent. Back in the back. Walt and Net back. Silent playing a little bit more forward. Zeke had a fantastic chance. Would have had a hard time to get out of that. Or keeping it in the net, I should say. That pass we just saw that now that dropped uh, it from Leave Z could quite get the right angle. Nice. Uh, those are the kind of shots that they're gonna have to be scared of when mm -hmm. Strux and Linky get. Absolutely. Um, it's kind of gonna be interesting to see what those what guys do against these fellow players. Great shot, great pass. Absolutely. Follow with the uh, opening goal and the match. The best thing you can do here coming off the wall is get it just a little off of it. Make sure it's not hugging you. It's much harder to see. Absolutely. You see with fantastic pass to see. He's going to pass to himself, apparently. Um, fantastic pass to ball right in front of the net. Uh, Bong is just right on the money with his, uh, his placement there. And, uh, of course, now we're up uh, one minute and three minutes. Uh, chasing it in from the corner, grabbing that boost. Game. See if not came back into the order, so I'm going to call on that out. Silent, which is a nice save. Oh, well, it's trying to fade off the wall. Beats Cookie. Silent with some good dribbling. What a shot! What an amazing shot. That's the best goal we've seen. Fantastic goal. Um, dribbled it fantastically. Zeke 
absolutely misplayed it. Oh, really? That, that's definitely one of the more beautiful roles we've seen for sure. That's the first full-on dribble we've seen oh. today. Very nice. Well, I mean, first time for everything, right? I guess you could include our air dribble there. We did have <laughs> Well, the air dribble, like the ground dribbles are a little bit more challenging than the air dribbles, I would say. Um, simply because you need to like gas and, and break kind of at a Totally eludes me. <laughs> it's it's really the staple of a higher level of this game. Absolutely. Being able to dribble just to carry it is, is a skill in and of itself. And uh, being able to fall in the hole like that was fantastic. We are halfway through this match, and uh, you see definitely Falling the ball in the corner. Lucky there to see him. And uh, Z is trying to. I don't think he had boost there. So understandable why he waited, but you can't wait on all this time. This is always going in if you're going to just try to take it so low. Well, it definitely capitalizes on uh, Z's hesitancy to uh, hold the ball and knock it out. Low and fall in the There, Mr. Mobs barely misses the vault. There to see the miss. See, there block. In the middle, right in front of the net. Mobs barely misses that. And Cookie's back by the net, saves the ball in front of the net. So I'm uh, chasing out the moves. So I was trying to keep it away from the net. That's why I gave him that extra hit and went away from the net. But uh, he did get a little bit of uh, bump in action there. Thanks both Walt and I believe Mo who's in the area getting any more contact than they had. So he's definitely trying to take the team controller right now. That was interesting. Yeah, not a great play on the uh, seat part there getting them to that round. Cookie, fantastic save. Center. Well, that guy definitely wants to try and make sure that his team is that kind of against the outcomes. I think Walt was going for a pinch there. Well, usually a great pinch. Absolutely. I mean, when you, can, when you can get a successful pinch, they're always good. Because it usually means great things. Yeah. Walt's throwing his weight around here now. Absolutely. Nice shot. Just try it. Big save. 30 seconds left. Cookie dribbling it. Z trying to see if he can take the play off that. Unable to. Uh, Silence is just there. Make sure. 20 seconds. And the photo sucks through the Silent game. What do you see? This is dangerous. Very big save. Very big save. Ball just motion around that ball as much as he possibly can to prevent them from being able to dribble it off the top. And it looks like Q and C are going to be going to the final against Outlaw. That'll do it. We won't get to see uh, champion on champion. Unfortunately. Cookie won't be playing his former teammates, but I think the better team won there. Absolutely. At least the, uh, today. They, they did play consistently better, even, even through the losses, I think. They showed they were the better team. Yeah, absolutely. It wasn't just like one player exceeding the other teams, or the other teammates, uh, in terms of their play, and then kind of like forcing himself to be the uh, to be the man on point, so to speak. So uh, it definitely was nice to see that uh, more cohesive team of, of Walt, Silent, and Mo uh, coming through on that. Part of the problem, I think, with Blue in that final game, they were obviously desperately trying to get a goal. They needed one, or they're gone. Absolutely. And because they were so desperate, they kept doing the front flip around the backboard, you know, trying to get it up and over and drop it through the net, which is a great play, but they couldn't get the height on it. And if you keep those low, it's mm -hmm. that bait I was talking about where the defender, it just rolls in front of the defender and they're going to hammer it out. Absolutely, every single time. That happens, Except for that one time. shot. That's right. <laughs> but yeah, no, definitely for sure. Um, they uh, they uh, definitely didn't have the same kind of uh, cookie stars in his crew. Didn't have that same kind of cohesiveness as uh, Walt's uh, silent and mm -hmm. so uh, I think we've got two of the best teams for I, sure. I think the right teams are in the final. 
Absolutely. After watching those five games and after watching uh, Strux and Linty just put on a clinic, it would be interesting to see this yeah. last round. Absolutely. So, uh, in the meantime, you do see here the Halloween items are here. Um, and of course, they're free, um, which is always fantastic. And the caliber, it says here, uh, I was reading this uh, before I came here actually, uh, read it right on the screen, <laughs> that uh, last year's Halloween items are being discontinued as of November 4th. So they are available this Halloween, but as of November 4th, you can never get the Calavera, for example. Oh, geez. Never again. So that means I've got to play some more. That's um, right. That said, we are going to go to a quick break, so we will be right back.